In this example, we have some information about a boat that traveled 72 miles each way, downstream and then back, and the trip downstream took 4 hours, and the trip back upstream took 9 hours. So what we're looking for is the speed of the boat in still water, so essentially just the speed of the boat, and then what is the speed of the current as well. So here are the pieces of information that we have. We also know that distance equals rate times time. So in order to kind of facilitate a process of figuring out the speed of the water, speed of the boat, that kind of thing, we need to know what the speed downstream was and the speed upstream. So we know the distance and we know the time. So if we know distance and time, we can divide both sides of this equation by t and we can solve for the rate. So we know that the average rate is going to be the distance divided by the time. So downstream, let's talk about that one first. So downstream, the rate was 72 miles divided by 4 hours. Okay? So that average rate looks like 18 miles per hour. Okay, how about upstream, what was our average speed? Well, the rate is going to be those same 72 miles, but this time it's divided by 9 hours, which is going to give us an 8 mile per hour rate. Okay, so we needed to have this information to really get going to write our systems. So again, we're looking for the speed of the boat and the speed of the current, so let's go ahead and write variables here. B is the speed of the boat and C equals the speed of the current. So if downstream was 18 miles per hour we know that's the boat plus the current because the boat is flowing with the current. Upstream however is the speed of the boat minus the current and that's going to be 8 miles per hour. It looks like our system here we can solve easily using elimination. Let's just go ahead and add the two equations. The currents cancel. So 2b equals 26. So when I divide both sides by 2, it looks like the speed of the boat will be 13. And 13 miles per hour, of course, but we'll get back to the units in a second. Well, once we know what the speed of the boat is, we can plug it in up here. So 13 plus C equals 18. So subtracting 13 from both sides gives me 5 for the variable C, which was, of course, the speed of the current. So now we have our variable definitions we can look back to. And we have our values. So B, which was the speed of the boat, we can say the speed of the boat was 13 miles per hour. And we can say that C, which is the speed of the current, the speed of the current was 5 miles per hour. And that matches up nicely with this initial information that we were given.